Hello again guys, it's Greg Olo Productions here and welcome back to Servisola. So where are we at with our BSR stylus fiasco? Well, it's already done. I've had the stylus for months. In fact, I forgot I even was doing this series. <laughs> but, but don't worry, we got the stylus from a guy. Um, yeah, his name was Silver... What is his name? Rivertone.stylus. That is his eBay seller name. Yes, I went the eBay route with this. Had no idea, you know, it seemed like the most logical and practical way to go. Got the stylus. The guy sent me two of them. Really decent. The price, I'm just looking at the listing here now. I'll link in the description. Price is pretty okay for what it was. After all, he did send me two of them. So I was only expecting one stylus. Sent me two. So yeah, the guy will give you a spare stylus depending on what you buy. Maybe he does that with everything. I don't know. Anyway, we got our stylus. Let's see what the heck for the reinstallation process, which really did not take long at all. There's just kind of a one thing that you got to kind of look out for is just the wiring. It's so small and, and uh, delicate. So you just got to be careful there. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you what I shot of my uh, player. But I, I didn't actually record installing it because it was way too fiddly to get that cartridge back on. I didn't even have to take that thing off. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, didn't have to take the cartridge off, but I did anyway. And I'm, yeah, so. And uh, as for our uh, adjusting the coupler, the rubber coupler that I ended up taking off, all of that sounds fine. We got it sounding, you know, as good as it did before. So no harm done there. I guess it was just a learning experience. But otherwise, here's the film I shot of the, of the uh, cartridge reinstallation there. And really, that's all there is to this. And then we just popped the stylus in. It was super simple. So this was an interesting procedure. We took all these guys, and we just kind of put them inside the head shell, this kind of hole here, and then put the head shell on the tone arm, and it kind of pushed a lot of it through. Fairly delicate work. I had to use tweezers. I know these are kind of thicker. Yeah, for the most part, I had to use really kind of fine bladed tweezers there. And after doing what was basically the reverse of the assembly, just by putting the hardware back in, and hardware, as in hardware, I mean screws, just putting that back in, and everything was good to go after that, and the thing works fine. And our seller actually sold us two BSR styli. He sent in a, a spare one as a bonus. So that's great. I won't be buying a new, or won't be buying BSR styli for a while. So that's terrific. Anyways, yours with a new stylus or needle in our record changer here. We can now play some records on it again. How does that sound, you guys? Let's get going.